Is that okay? Okay. Oh, hello everybody. Hi. We are here. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hi. We are down and we're the only ones. We call it the beach, but it's actually a sandbar <laughs> on the river, as you can see. And our little girl has just learnt to swim, which we're very excited about. I haven't done a live for a while. Um, I've had quite... Oh yeah, our little girl is not Callum. It's a, it's a puppy dog. Come on. Uh, yes, but before... <laughs> Go girl. Before, um, what I want, wanted to check in with was how amazing our memory program is and one of the sections, where are you buddy? I'm right here. One of the sections was about spelling. So what we're doing over the holidays is implementing a strategy to improve vocab and having some unique words that we can put into our writing and our communications. Um, Ruby's doing a poo. You've heard it first, everybody. Ruby's doing a poo. Get your bag. <laughs> so, um, Callum, yesterday we learnt a word and it was petrified. That was the one you couldn't get, wasn't it? Do you think you could spell it forwards and backwards? Can you look at the camera? <laughs> Can you spell petrified? Go on then. All right, now do you think you can look up and see that word again and spell it backwards? Yeah. Very cool, buddy. Well done. So um, that's one of the techniques that we use and it, it can really, really help with... Um, Getting those words, especially like the 300 most commonly used words, which is on 70% of, of what we read on each page, give or take. So if you know those off by heart, if you can recite those, if you know the meaning and you can associate the meaning with all those words, it makes reading fluency, reading comprehension much, much easier. So if you can nail those in a short period of time, it's awesome source. Oh, it's windy now. So yes, that's a part of our memory course. I just spilled my coffee. <clears throat> Which is um, happening now as we speak. And I'll put the link in later. I haven't got the link here, but I'll put it in later. Um, and yeah, go from there. So we're just taking a time out before we start work down at the, what we call a beach, which is actually a sandbar. <laughs> and here she goes. Oh, she's off. What are you doing, girl? Dun 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 Are you going in? You gonna swim? Come on. Come on, you need you need me to go in, don't ya? Yeah, you come on. Come on. So she's only been three times and on a third time she went in and swam yesterday. In ya? Come on. That's the way. Come on. Good girl. Where's that shallow bit we were in yesterday? Is that? Oh, she, when she jumps. <laughs> oh, now she's seen a duck. Oh, she thought it was a bird, but it wasn't. <laughs> Come on, Ruby. Come on. Ruby. Come on. Sorry. Ruby. No. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the awkward silence there. <laughs> um, have a good day, everybody. For most of you, it's the last day of school. We've actually had the whole um, week off. We finished like, oh. Sorry, when I say we, my children finished last week. So it has been interesting having them home and working. One of you, 
another unique challenge that we have. You're being very brave, darling. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Good girl. Woohoo. You're a real dog now. <laughs> no, Mary, not camping. We're just um we live on the on the Murray River. So we're actually just down for the morning before I start work. Um taking the kids for a run. <laughs> Come on, good girl. That's awesome. Oh, you're so clever, Ruby. Yeah, so that spelling technique, they, uh, as you saw, Callum could spell it forwards and backwards, and that helps us know that the word's cemented in their, in their little brains. Hello, girl. You did good, didn't you? I don't think she likes to go in unless I go in. All right, have a good day, everybody. I'm just sort of saying nothing, really, am I? <laughs> All right, bye-bye.